Thanks for tuning in to this latest weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with the National Weather Service. We're going to talk about more significant rainfall on its way and also some heavy snow in the mountains. Really, we have to look at two storm systems, one Sunday night and then also one later Wednesday into Thursday. Here's the outlook table. I think the biggest impact will be locally heavy rain with this round one coming through and then also some significant snow in the higher elevations. This is not as cold as the storm as we saw last week. Now also uh, looks like a much colder storm is expected for later in the week. Looks like Wednesday night all the way through Thursday. So we're going to watch for some impact from snowfall in addition to the rainfall with that storm. All right, uh, how are we doing so far? On the left-hand side is the water year, and you can see this winter, central northern California, much below normal, only about half of their normal. What does normal mean? That's a 30-year average. Now, in southern California, we are still below average in most areas, except for in San Diego County, and some of our deserts are right about normal. Now, March has been very wet, and you can see on the right-hand side the month of March, the three weeks so far, focused again on Southern California. Those areas much wetter than an average month of March so far. So the pattern's really been focused on Southern California. Now, what do we expect additionally? On the left-hand side is the next six days across the state of California. You can see again the Sierra Nevada and Southern California shows up in the brighter greens and the yellow. That's where the significant precipitation will occur from a couple of storms. On the right hand side is a zoomed up version and you can see significant precipitation uh, expected, especially in the mountain areas, but widespread in all the coastal areas as well and valleys, except for the deserts much lighter. What's the storm track? The storm track for tonight into Monday coming directly in from the west, a rather compact storm but it will pack a punch when it moves through at least for several hours with the storm track moving right across the Orange County, LA County line. The next storm you can see on the top of the screen is coming down directly from the north. A lot of blue in that one, so it has cold air, even colder. Looks like we're gonna see uh, clouds increasing and you can see the storm system on weather satellite moving in from the west. A rather small but compact storm so it should pack a punch with precipitation and high elevation snow as it moves across Southern California. You can see Northern California really has very little clouds at all. All right, uh, precipitation is expected to become heavy at times later this evening, especially between 9, and 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. Now, lighter precipitation will develop even well before that this evening. So bands of heavy rain are expected across Orange County and parts of the Inland Empire as early as mid evening and some of those heavy rain bands near midnight and afterwards will move across central and northern San Diego County and also parts of Riverside County. Here is the expected precipitation totals. You can see in the yellow shaded area and most of this is going to be a 12 hour period from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Monday. The yellow area is receiving over an inch with areas along the coastal slopes as much as two to locally uh, two and a half inches. Now in our urban areas like Riverside, Anaheim, Irvine, looks like anywhere between a half inch to an inch. That's quite a bit of rain uh, when we're talking about a short period of time. Some of that's going to spill into northern San Diego County as well. So while this storm is short duration, it will pack an impact with significant precipitation and rainfall rates translated to heavy snow above 6,500 feet as it moves across our area most of it's going to be out of here by 6 a.m. Monday. Snowfall that I mentioned, here's a look at the map. And we do expect a couple inches of snow all the way down to Big Bear Lake level in Idlewild. But we also expect a few inches of snow up around 7,700 feet. And in fact, some locations that receive the heaviest precipitation could get upwards of 12 inches of snow up around 7,500 to 8,000 feet. So still some impact with that. Um, not much snow for San Diego County, maybe a slushy trace or so, but uh, primarily since it's a little bit warmer storm, that's why the precipitation in form of snow misses San Diego County. 
Now the wind along this storm system does look like gusty winds with 40 to 55 mile per hour winds in the yellow and orange shaded areas. That's primarily the mountain passes, Highway 78 pass out to Borrego, Interstate 8, San Diego County, 10 up along Riverside County towards Palm Springs. So the very typical normal areas will be windier than usual, um, and that, but that will be the main focus, including the high desert areas. Everywhere else, breezy winds as the rains move in this evening, Sunday evening. What about the next storm? It looks like we'll have a little break, uh, only isolated activity for Tuesday into part of Wednesday. But the next storm, as I mentioned, is much colder. It breaks off from the Arctic jet stream. So a big branch of polar uh, storm track comes down towards Southern California, does swing offshore, and that is key because that'll gather moisture over the water and instability will form showers and that'll favor San Diego County as we get into Thursday because of the trajectory coming in from the Northwest. Uh, so this is a much colder storm it looks like. And while drier storm, it's much colder so it'll have more impact from snow and then uh, widespread showers and the bigger rainfall amounts in San Diego County and the San Bernardino Mountains. The preliminary estimates, and keep in mind these will be low snow levels as well for precipitation, look to see um, at least a half inch if not more in parts of San Diego County with lighter amounts as you go north because of the trajectory going all across the water as shown on this map. So storms coming in from the northwest really favor San Diego County. West favors everywhere, um, and that's likely what we're going to see early Monday. Coming up from the south uh, can really favor San Diego County and also points northward. What about an end to this precipitation? We do see an end. Um, it looks like late March with the final system moving through the final weekend of March, and then late March and early April, significant drying with high pressure building in and um, likely no precipitation uh, during that period as we roll into early April. Storm track shifts across the Pacific Northwest. Here are some of the highlights. Take some time to look over this. Uh, I think rain beginning and becoming heavy at times as it rolls through Sunday evening through early Monday morning. That's a warmer storm, but still some snowfall and do expect potential for chain control conditions up around 7,000 feet. Now, the next storm is much colder, okay, and that comes in late on Wednesday, especially Wednesday night and Thursday. That really favors San Diego County with the precipitation, but uh, all of our mountain areas, San Bernardino, Riverside Mountains, will see a few inches of snow because of the much lower snow levels and drier snow. Now, that storm exits, and it looks like we have a break uh, at the end of March through early part of April. Here are some of the bullet highlights. We do expect widespread precipitation and potential for some urban flooding. So that means the usual low-lying areas, the channels, the canals, some of the small creeks. Snowfall will be an impact and the snow levels will get down to about 5,000 feet at the very end early Monday morning, but most of the snowfall will be above 6,500 feet. We will see a burst of rain at times for an hour or two along uh, the main frontal system That'll be Sunday evening to just after midnight Monday morning. I don't see much more than widely scattered showers uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday. Precipitation should come back in, looks like late on Wednesday. That's a much colder storm, uh, similar to some of the storms we saw earlier in March. So that will have more impact because of the lower snow levels. So overall, we look for widespread precipitation from these two storms. Uh, the wetter storm looks like the Sunday night storm, the colder storm on Thursday. Some of our mountain areas will be talking about three inches of water uh, from these storms. And even our coastal cities, anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half, coastal cities and valleys. Significant snowfall again. Um, and again, remember the next storm on Thursday is much colder, lower snow levels, drier snow, uh, even though precipitation overall is less. Make sure you check weather.gov San Diego for the latest watches, warnings, and advisories. They'll be posted there. Also posted on Twitter as well. Stay safe, everyone, and make sure you check the latest forecast before you venture out as the winter weather continues in March.